Alright, so in this video I'm going to go over the steering wheel and steering wheel cover. Um, obviously in the movie they had this uh, plexiglass um, circle um, that covered the steering wheel, which is just slightly bigger than the, than the steering wheel. I made, I made this one an inch bigger than the steering wheel um, using photos and scaling and stuff like that. It seems to be the, uh, the right size. Um, I used quarter inch plexiglass and also a quarter inch um, by half inch aluminum uh, bars. Um, you can buy these already cut or already you know extruded into bars. You don't have to act, you know have to take a uh, a sheet and cut them into these these bars. You can actually order them um, already already in the bar form. Um, yeah, I use some uh, countersunk um, stainless uh, fasteners um, like the movie. Um, I have a countersink bit that drills the little countersink. Uh, uh, holes, you know, for it to for the head to rest in. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I used uh, uh, like thumb nuts to uh, to take them on and off. Um, yeah, so there's the the studs are sticking up through the uh, through the um, the steering column cover here, and I actually epoxied the the heads um, underneath. So the, so when we take this off, there's little studs there so when the covers off you'll see these little studs but they're not they're not crazy um, you know you probably wouldn't even really notice them but uh, yeah I wanted it you know quick you know quick disconnect removable um, obviously we have to take this off to drive so uh, I didn't want anything that was too uh, you know too complicated to put on and off you know if I go to a show or something like that but but yeah that's the um, that's what I did and how I made this uh, these brackets here. Um, I got the um, plexiglass cut. I ordered it from someone on eBay that already cuts uh, custom plexiglass in circles. It wasn't that much, but um, so I got the uh, the plexiglass circle and I put some uh, some blocks, you know, about an inch inch thick all the way around the between the steering wheel and the plexiglass, and then I used some clamps. Standard, uh, standard wood clamps. So basically, I, uh, yeah, I had the wood as a standoff, and then I clamped the, uh, I used the clamps to, to, to press and, and hold the, the plexiglass in place while I made the brackets. Um, yeah, I made just like little cardboard templates um, to get the general shape. Um, yeah, I used screenshots, and I was looking at, you know, where it started and. And all this. Um, obviously, um, I haven't seen any of these that are surviving from the movie. Um, although the Islands Adventure Explorer does have the holes still, so you can see where the holes were. But um, but yeah, the actual cover is gone. So yeah, so I used some clamps and some wood to, to space it and keep it in place. Made some cardboard templates. Um, and then yeah, I bent the aluminum. Uh, I used um, you know for these. Nice round uh, bends. I use this. It's just a very simple uh, aluminum uh, bending uh, machine. Got it at Harbor Freight. I think it was like 60 bucks or something like that after the 20% the off coupon. But it comes with a bunch of different dies. Um, and I chose the one that looked, uh, that looked accurate. But yeah, you can put different dies in there to make it, uh, to make bigger um, radius uh, bends but uh, yeah that's it and uh, yeah came out pretty good um, for these um, for, for these straight bends I used a uh, just the vise I took a couple, uh, a couple pieces of uh, steel and clamped it um, you know right here and right here and then used uh, yeah, I think I used like a rubber mallet or something to to hit it and bend it. Uh, worked pretty well. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, the steering wheel. So if you have a '93 or '94, you're gonna have a different steering wheel and horn pad. Um, this right here, this is actually this the wheel that's in here is um, actually from a '93 or '94. Um, so you see, it doesn't. 
quite fit right. There's a little gap there. It's a little weird. Um, this is the correct horn pad, though. Um, this is just a temporary steering wheel I have in here. Uh, I actually have a brand new, uh, new old stock one that I'm going to put in after the dashboard and everything's done. Um, I just don't want to put a really nice steering wheel in here, you know, while I'm, uh, you know, uh, you know, constructing the dash and stuff like that. It might get nicked or hit or, or whatever. So, but yeah, this, this is the horn pad. Um, you can get this from a 91 or 92. Um, I think the Ford Ranger also got the same horn pad if it had cruise control. Um, I yeah, I believe every, every Explorer has cruise control. Not quite sure, but... But yeah, you want this style uh, horn pad. This is the old, this is my old steering wheel and my old horn pad. This is what came with the truck originally. This one's in pretty bad shape. It's, it's the, the leather's really twisted. It's, it's kind of gross. Um, I've had this in here actually for a long time. You know, while I'm doing the fiberglass and all that, I didn't want anything to get, uh, anything to get messed up. But uh, yeah, so this is the, you know, my, uh, nearly accurate steering wheel. This right here is a new old stock from Ford steering wheel. This is actually a 92 steering wheel. Um, still in the in the in the wrapping and everything. So when uh, when the dashboard is in and uh, and everything this is gonna be the final piece that I put in. But uh, yeah, I'm actually driving this around a little bit now, and this steering wheel was just kind of sticky and gross, so I put my, uh, you know, my nearly accurate one in here. Um, in the meantime, with the accurate horn pad, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that's that's about it. Um, yeah, check eBay. Um, there's a lot of people that cut custom acrylic. Um, obviously, if you had a router or something, you you could. If you have the jig, you could cut circles, but it's just easier to have someone else do it. I think it was only a couple bucks more to get it already pre-cut. Um, I think they had like one inch too small. I think this is a 15 inch circle. I'm not sure you'll have to measure your steering wheel and like add an inch. But um, they were selling like 14 inch pieces and I messaged them. I said, hey, I actually need a 15. And they were like, ah, and yeah. They, they just uh, they threw it in for free. They didn't charge me anymore because it's only, only an inch for them, so. But yeah, I uh, hope that was uh, informative, and yeah, good luck, uh, good luck building one.